Ruben, congratulations on the victory. A pretty hard fought one. What were your initial impressions? Uh, look, it seemed like a game that would never end uh, at the end there. It was uh, a little bit stressful. Um, obviously, the boys, they want to win you know, a hell of a lot at the moment. And uh, we're working really, really hard as a group. So, yeah, just really proud. What did you get right to turn things around after shipping that, that early goal? We showed a lot of character, for, first and foremost. I mean, I keep talking about it, but the belief and the, the resilience that the group's showing at the moment, um, you know, to, to face this little bit of adversity that we have at the start of the season, I think, um, you know, the boys have been huge in the three games, albeit the performance is nowhere near what we want. Um, and that's because we're a group in our infancy. So uh, it's going to take time. We're going to have to build it on our structures and our processes. But, um, you know, if they, if they show that level of, of work rate and effort and fight and mentality um, as a group, then, uh, then we'll definitely get there. I know it didn't end up being consequential in the end, but did you think you should have had a handball penalty in that first half? The guys were just talking about that. I didn't, I didn't see that. Um, someone that, that watched the game, you know, one of our analysts said it was a stonewall penalty, but to be honest, we didn't get it. So, um, yeah, we had to do it the hard way, but um, yeah, just happy with, the, happy with the result. And Ruben, can you talk us through what's happened with Bruno Fornaroli over the past couple of days? Why he wasn't out there? Was he fit? Was he not fit? What's, what's the situation there from a, I guess, a Perth perspective? He was just unavailable. He, had a, he ruled himself out with a, with a rib injury on Friday. So I couldn't finish the final session, which meant that he wasn't available for selection. So there's not really much going on there. But um, I'm sure you've been, I don't know if you've been told, he's uh, posted, commented on the Perth uh, Instagram story that said he was not fit and said, oh, I'm 100% fit to play. The information's wrong. What, what's happened there? Was he not feeling right yesterday? Is feeling, like, is, what, what's the situation with Bruno? To be honest, I'm not sure. Who knows? Social media, his account could have got hacked for all we know. So. Uh, yeah, I haven't comment. I can't really comment on it. I haven't seen that those comments, but all I know is that um, I picked a squad that was available, and um, they went out there and did the job. Just um, is are things all, all good with Bruno in terms of his, his future at the club? I know he's been such an influential player um, there there since he's joined. Yeah, he's been. Um, you know, he's 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 had a hell of a goal scoring record in the league, and um, like you know, like all the boys, he's extremely valuable to our club. Um, but like I say, the, the focus isn't on him at the moment. Um, he wasn't here, he's unavailable. He ruled himself out with an injury and we're worrying about the ones that are here. Okay, the last one on him, is that just something you'll deal with when you get, get back to Perth? Just sort of get back to get to the bottom of, of sort of what's happened in the build up there? Yeah, and that's, that's pretty simple. We'll go home and, and like always review the match and review where we're at and review our injuries and talk with medical staff and, uh, and players and go through that management process. It's not, not really an issue. Just in terms of your attack today, obviously, um, without Bruno, but a couple of really um, smartly taken finishes, nice goals. We we excited by what you saw in um, quite a quite a young forward group, to be honest. Yeah, look, I think you know we went with um, we went with a squad that was was able to to, to work really hard and um, a high level of fitness, a high a high level of. Um, or forward runs and, and getting in those positions to score, which which I think definitely helped today. Um, you know, we played those two midfielders off um, G. Colley and uh, and McInef off. You know, big Ben Azabel, and I thought the three of them worked really really hard. And it's nice, you know, because you know they both popped up on the score sheet and and uh, executed the game plan really well. So that's always a big positive. Have, have you avoided any injuries, uh, Ruben? We saw um, especially Luke Ivanovic after copping that tackle. He was hobbling about. I think he had a a couple of other players go down. Uh, Zach Duncan had that little flick to his eye. How are all those boys? A bit bruised and battered, it looked like, but um, I don't think they can feel those injuries at the moment. They're in there and they're, they're obviously celebrating the win and they're pretty happy with themselves. So, um, you know, I, I try not to get too carried away with the with the results, especially so, so early on in our rebuild as a club. Um, for me, it's about the performance, and I think there were some massive positives in the performance, and I think there were still some some huge areas that we can improve, which is which is also something that basically puts my focus straight back to the training ground and the ones that are fit will get to work and the ones that won't will rehab and, and work really hard uh, to get fit. And just one last one, Steph Kolakowski, was that just left out of the squad today or is he uh, injured? Yeah, just wasn't, he wasn't selected for this game. You know, sometimes it's horses for courses and, um, you know, he wasn't in the game plan this week, but Steph's a fantastic, um, fantastic player and a fantastic um, person and his attitude's great and he's trained really well. So, um, you know, he'll train hard this week and work, him, work his way back into contention and we'll see what the opposition, you know, looks like next week and see whether that's the game for him. Great. Thanks, Ruben. Congratulations. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Rubes. How 
Um, look, it's obviously, it's nice, you know, because, you know, you can, it gives you something to build on. I mean, we had a really good performance last week. Um, we created enough chances to win that game and probably should have at least got a point, if not the three points last week. Um, and that was a good step in the right direction. But obviously when the result's not there, um, I always, you know, see it like it's a balance to retain um, confidence and belief. And I think the boys did a really good job of not letting that, those first two games, you know, put a damper on where we're at and how hard we're working. And so uh, what this result can do is just give a little bit of confidence to the team and, and to everybody involved. There's a lot of people at the club, um, a, lot of, a lot of admin staff, a lot of people behind the scenes that are working really hard. And a win like this can, can just pick up the mood for everybody, um, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So for the players, it's huge. And uh, we'll just try and build on that and keep improving. Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, it's just mentality for me is, is really important in professional sport because um, you face a hell of a lot of tough times, um, you know, as players and, you know, as, as coaches as well. And uh, the mentality to continue to work hard and trust the process and believe in, in what you're doing is really, really important. And I think tonight the boys demonstrated a real, a really, really good mentality to not only work hard for each other, but stick to the process, really disciplined, um, still played some really nice football, um, created enough chances. It was just mentality for me is a, a super important thing. And um, yeah, today was another step in the right direction. Yep, that's it. Thanks, Thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.